Hi, we're Jen and Chris Corsi with Thrive Today. And as we're exiting this season of stay-at-home orders, lockdown, not being allowed to do anything, um, recently we talked to you about what good things have come out of that. What have we found satisfaction in? What have we found joy in? What, what things can we appreciate that have come out of this season? So the question I have today is, what do we want our new normal to look like? Because we are entering a new normal. It's not going to look the same as before. Um, and that's that's a good thing and a bad thing. There are elements that we're going to miss that don't get to go back to normal yet. But then there are choices we have. We can choose what we're prioritizing as we go into this new season. Yeah, and here's a, here's a good thing. This is a little bit of gold here. Um, when there's a little bit of upset your emotional relational brain is the most open um your logical brain actually is the most open so when your emotional brain is upset your logical brain is most open to updating explanations and information and that means if you're like me and you you have routines um this is disrupted smashed (laughs) a lot of routines destroyed yeah so the Mm -hmm. question is okay well i'm now the most open to learning and doing new things right? Because this has been very upsetting on the emotional relational brain. So my logical brain is like, okay, maybe I need to exercise more often. Maybe I need to know, you can kind of almost reprioritize. And I've heard from a lot of friends that have really Mm -hmm. come out of this season thinking, wow, here's what I want to keep doing because this has been really life-giving for me. So it's been hard. It's been a difficult season. It's been traumatic for a lot of people and uh, just hard, really. But Okay, what is it, you know, what can I carry with me into, as I go forward? What are the things? Um, So it might be, you know what, I was forced to quiet more. I was forced to rest more and that I felt more refreshed. So I'm going to do that. I was forced to try to, you know, practice appreciation on a regular basis. So I want to continue that. So what are those habits? What are those those things or those lessons that you've learned that you can bring with you as we go forward so that uh, you're just an updated, upgraded version of yourself. Well, and even your calendar is an upgraded version. Uh, Thankfully, things are reopening slowly. And so because of that, we have an opportunity to kind of ramp up and be intentional about what we allow back into our lives from here. Many people have had a whole lot more family time, more family meals, uh, just more time together. And there are moments when that is trying, but overall, that has been an enjoyable thing. And so, yes, we want to get out more. And yes, we want to start interacting with other people. But do we want to fill our calendars back up? Or do we like having a little bit more breathing room? Do we like a little bit more of that rhythm with room for quiet, room for joy, room for time with our family? Um, As you're adding things back in to your life, be intentional about choosing which ones you want to, prioritizing the things that are important to you, and choosing to only allow back into your calendar the things that are life-giving and and that you want to see happen going forward. And this is a really good opportunity to interact with the living God. So talk to Emmanuel. Lord, what, you know, what was important to you? What is important to you as I go forward here? You know, maybe it's that time with God that you've enjoyed Mm -hmm. um, or time with God as a family. So talk to Emmanuel, share minds with Emmanuel, get some creativity, um, some reflection and some inspiration going there. And yeah, just, just, this is an opportunity for some growth and more joy. So what do you notice about this season? What do you want to continue from here? You know, I would say I want to continue um, the connections with my family. I want to have more of that than Mm -hmm. even I had, even though it was something I really enjoyed. I feel like uh, this is an opportunity going forward to have more, Mm -hmm. more of that good stuff. So I want to keep that going forward, especially with my sons and that time with the, with my sons. For me, I've noticed that it's been enjoyable to have, um, to have the kids have taken more responsibility for things and that they've grown in those ways. And it was partly out of necessity for them to help more, but I think they've grown so much and looking back on their growth has been really exciting and the ways that they have matured in this time. It didn't feel like it in the moment, but looking back from the beginning to the la- to the end of this two, three month period, I can see so much growth in them um, from increased responsibility that I wanna see that, I wanna continue to nurture that in them. Yeah, so talk to your family, have this conversation. What, is, what are the good things? What's the good stuff that we can take with us or even parts of it 
that we can take with us going forward. What have you learned that's valuable? Mm -hmm.